Hello and welcome to this HOG4 tutorial which will look at the recording of and use of palettes. We will also look at the use of groups to speed up selection of fixtures. Palettes can be recorded to four different kind directories intensity, position, colour and beam. They are the building blocks of programming and allow for very quick updating of your show. If a set of lights were to be used several times during your show focused onto the drummer for example it would make sense to record a position palette that can be quickly recalled rather than having to set your lights onto the drum riser each time. Another benefit of this is that if the drum riser later moved position on the stage, you only need to update the one position palette. This is because your cues were recorded with only a reference to that single palette rather than with hard pan and tilt values. Let's record three colour palettes using just one fixture with CMY parameters. I will select Studio Spot 31 and apply Full Cyan. Press Record and there are three key options Global, Per Type and Per Fixture. By default this will be recorded as Global as there are no different CMY values in the programmer. Press a location in the colour window to complete the action. By pressing Set now I can quickly give this a name. I can view the contents of this palette by pressing it followed by the open key. All types indicates that this is a global palette. I shall now change the fixture to full magenta and press record again. This time I will select the per type option and instead of pressing a location in the window I will press the colour key followed by the number I wish to record to followed by enter. Again, by pressing this followed by open, we can see that this palette has information for all our studio spots. Finally, we'll change the fixture to full yellow. Press record and now let's select the per fixture option. If I just press color followed by enter, the console will record the palette to the next available location in the directory. By opening the palette, we can see this holds a value for fixture 31 only. Let's now select all the studio spots and studio beams and apply our cyan palette. Ensure that the show palettes button is switched on in the output window. We can see all our fixtures have changed to cyan. If I now select our magenta palette, only the studio spots have changed as this was recorded using the per type option. Finally, if I apply the yellow palette, only fixture 31 changes as this was recorded as per fixture. This principle can be applied to all kinds of palettes. The only difference is with intensity and position palettes where the default is that they are recorded as per fixture. By default, only parameters of the same kind will be recorded to a palette. For example, if I had intensity and position values applied to fixture 31 when I recorded the colour palettes, only the colour would have been recorded. The intensity and position would be masked. Sometimes it is helpful to include more than one kind in a palette, particularly position and beam, where the size of your iris, for example, will affect where you need to position your fixture. Let's take that example and select Studio Spot 31 again. We will apply values for both position and iris. When I press record, there is the option to include the kinds you want to be recorded. Select position and beam. Notice how the syntax on the command line has changed to add position and beam before the record command. An alternative way to apply this masking would have been to press the position and beam keys prior to the record key. Then continue as normal by selecting the location by either pressing a location in the directory or the position key followed by enter. Before we continue with palettes, now is a good time to take a quick look at another directory item, Groups. Open the Group directory by double pressing the Group key. Groups offer a quick way to select large numbers of lights, either by touching the location in the directory window or by pressing the Group key followed by the number of the desired group. To record a group, select your fixtures, for example 31 through 33, press Record followed by the location in the directory window. Press set and name this as band. 
Back to palettes, there are two other options when recording, and these are Allow Refs and As Direct. When a cue is recorded using a palette, only a reference to that palette is stored in the cue. In the same way, a reference palette is a palette that stores a reference to other palettes rather than hard values. Let's record three positions using our studio spots. First of all, we shall select 31 and move it onto our drums. Press record followed by a position location. Press set to name this drums. Next, select 32 and move this onto our keyboard. Record this position and call it keys. Finally, select 33, move it onto our guitar, record the position and name this guitar. We now have three positions that we will often want to use together. Since we made our group for the band, it would seem unnecessary to have to keep selecting all three position palettes. Therefore, select our band group followed by our three position palettes. Press record and now select the Allow Refs option. Choose your location to record to and call this position Band. You will notice a symbol telling us that this is a reference palette. Any updates made to the positions of the other three palettes will also apply to this reference palette. Direct palettes are used to record hard values into cues rather than references. To permanently record a direct palette, select the As Direct option after pressing record. Any palette can temporarily be used as a direct palette. Normally when recalling a palette, we would select our fixtures, for example 31, immediately followed by our position. This creates a reference in the programmer. If we select our fixture again and press the At key, followed by our position, we can see this has entered hard values into the programmer that would remain unchanged in our cues if we later updated the palette. Time can also be recorded into palettes. To do this with an intensity palette, for example, select your fixtures and assign their intensity. Press Time, 5, Enter. Then, Intensity, Time, Record, Intensity, Enter. We will look at updating palettes in the next tutorial, which will also look at basic queue timing and the editing of queues. Thank you for watching.